Hey guys, welcome to Reaper's Reviews, and today we're going to review, that's right, Captain America the Winter Soldier. Now, the movie was actually the best comic movie so far, um, definitely jumps up um, on the level of the Avengers. Uh, great story, and the movie was long, but you know what, it had a lot of good points, a lot of action in it, um, there was nothing, one, there's not one bad thing I can say about the movie, I mean, I walked in and I wore, I wore this shirt too, and I ironed it like three times and this thing is still kind of like whatever anyway so yeah so the movie was freaking amazing phenomenal uh, Chris Evans did an amazing job Scarlett Johansson did an amazing job you have Samuel Jackson did an amazing job Sebastian did an amazing job as a Winter Soldier and then you know you have Anthony Mackie doing an amazing job at uh, the Falcon now the Falcon as far as comic book heroes go he was more like a B maybe C lister I think it was he wasn't that very popular and I wasn't a big fan of him either. I thought he was like one of the weakest characters ever, you know. And I guess he needs, you know, I, I feel, you know, with him, I was like, man, I go, he's not a character that, that I was really, that I really cared for him out. After seeing this movie, his stock grew. In, I mean, I mean, it just grew like crazy. I, uh, I think this is the best revamp of a character, the best way that they did it. I think they did an amazing job with, uh, you know, with him. I think he definitely stole the show in his scenes and, uh, he did a really good job. I my hats off to Anthony Mackie for, for you know taking that role and just destroying it on on film and you know cementing his role, his his uh, his presence in the Marvel comic universe is another character that another actor who who did an amazing job and playing uh, a hero and bringing him to life and doing an amazing job. And um, I think you know as far as you know some characters that you know in the Marvel universe that that aren't that great that you know aren't a list characters. Um, hopefully we get other actors to bring in bring in to play these character roles and to elevate their status and even do an amazing job and, you know make them even you know more likable or more hated as, as far as for villains goes because you know you know there are a lot of villains out there that are pretty crappy you know villains that aren't really that great hopefully we get an actor that can take that role and just say boom here it is and then just just kill it and make us go i hate that one that's the greatest villain ever um but so far as the movie goes i felt that the sort of they're going with you know it's going towards like you know like the civil war and all that stuff and I feel like they're going to fast. I felt that um, you know the things that they were they were doing were pretty cool. I liked how you know Captain America was going against. He did like what Shield was doing with their you know protecting the, you know their their strategy of how they want to protect uh, everybody and, and how they were going about it. And um, I definitely side with Captain America on on issues in the cap in the comic books and in this movie I was definitely on his side on on certain issues because it's like. You know, there's definitely a thin, uh, a thin line that you can cross, and you, you know, it can go either way, but most likely it'll go a bad way. Uh, and then when you have, you know, Captain America running into, you know, you know issues and problems, that, you know, that arise in the movie with, with you know, the whole thing. And he since he's so old-fashioned, you know, he's it's, everybody else is used to backstabbing and all that stuff, and for him, it's kind of like, you know, yeah, they did that back then, but it wasn't as, as much as it was now, and. And with the stuff that he has to deal with, you know, playing catch up with all the issues that are going on, especially in his notebook, you know, things that he missed. And, you know, it was pretty cool to see, you know, he actually has a list and he actually went to a notebook and actually wrote it down and didn't put in a little thing. Because Captain America is not a kind of guy that will put it, enter in a little on his phone and all that. He'll write it down and, you know, put it down in a notebook and stuff like that. So I felt that, you know, things like that, you know, were pretty key to his character and, and speaks on what he is, on, you know, technology-wise and other things like that, and him trying to fit into the world. Um, and I like the fact that they actually had him visit Peggy and, as you know, and seeing her and you know, see how see how it affects him, and you know, and how much you know, all everybody he's cared about and loved is already dead and gone, or, or just you know, he's pretty much alone again. You know, he's starting from scratch, and and it sucks. I think you know, far as far as the hero goes. He got, uh, and out of Mar all the Marvel heroes, there's like a few that got a raw deal. They got a pretty shitty deal. Spider Man's one of them. Captain America is definitely another one of them. Wolverine got a pretty shitty deal. Um, uh, but you know, yeah, I say he got a pretty shitty deal. Um, you know, as far as you know, Captain deal with what he did. You know, he did. He did. You know, Chris did an amazing job playing this character. And did an amazing job with this movie. 
and they did a really great job with how they wanted to go the direction with Captain America. And as far as him running into his old friend and colleague in the Winter Soldier, you know, you know, you just you can see the pain in him. You know, you know, he already he already lost Peggy. You know, she's older, and you know, and you know, he had to deal with that. And now he finds out that his friend's alive, but he's also a bad guy. And you know, he, he you know, for him it was just like it was, it's hard. It was hard for him to deal with, and you know, and with Captain America, he doesn't believe that nobody cannot be saved, so he, he tries to save his friend. Now. This movie, you know, I saw this movie in IMAX 3D. You definitely go check this movie out in IMAX. I mean, this movie was freaking amazing. Or you can see it in Dolby Atmos. I think it's playing in the Atmos theaters. Uh, definitely check it out because before all the uh, helicarriers that are above and flying above, those speakers hanging above you will definitely come into play and will make it even sound more amazing. Like, you're actually on the actual ground or on there when it's happening. Um, spoiler alerts. So, as far as this goes, and, you know, you have a Hydra infiltrating, you know, the shield thing, it, I feel like it's going into like, you know, shield being disbanded and all that. I feel a lot of reminiscent of going into like the Civil War and stuff like that. I feel like this thing was moving a little too fast. I think this could play out just a little bit, a little bit more longer. Um, but all in all, I'm so happy with the product that they pulled out. And so far, you know, Marvel has not put out, you know, you know, a lot of movies that, you know, that sucked. That's under their umbrella, not cooperate with uh, other studios and they're just using them like X-Men and them. I don't count that as their their um, part of their Marvel Cinematic Universe because it's not. It's done by everybody else, and they have no input in it. So when it comes to Marvel, we've done being done by Marvel with Marvel's input, and then if they do a shitty job, then I'll say something. But until then, you know, hey, I'm happy with what you got, and I'm definitely excited to see Guardians of the Galaxy. I, I you know, I've, I've never read the comics. I've, I know a little bit about them and all that, but I'm excited to see what they got and what they're bringing to the screen. You know, that's not going to be on the on Earth anymore. They're going outside of Earth, you know. He Thor did a little bit outside of Earth, but you know, he comes to Earth. But Guardians of the Galaxy is set off Earth and dealing with other planets and other other parts of the world and other villains that are not on Earth that will, you know, interact with uh, our Avengers and other heroes. And uh, I think, you know, with day with Captain America and how it ends and all that, and you know, set up for the Avengers too. I mean, this is like one of the greatest things that they've done so far, and DC is lacking in their movie franchises. On trying to do what Marvel has done and be able to, you know, weave stories like this and be able to have character actors jump from movie to movie. Um, just, I know, I know they wanted to do this a long time ago, and they said they announced it before Marvel did. Or I was like, you know, we're going to do it. Marvel acted upon it and did. DC kept on fumbling and fumbling. That's due to the fact that they're owned by Warner Brothers, and Warner Brothers is the one that's doing all this, and they've they've dropped the ball. But the animation side is kicking a lot of butt compared to that. Well, all in all, definitely check out Captain America. I mean, acting-wise, great. Story-wise, great. Special effects, great. You can't go wrong with this movie. Even the after credit scenes that they showed. And, you know, with the Scarlet Witch and the Quicks over there. I mean, there, I mean there's, uh, there were so much spoilers in that one little, little thing. The Quicks over them was like an obvious one for everybody. But all the other ones, you know, for the hardcore die, the hard fan comic books. I mean, that scene just made all of our brains just go... <laughs> but yeah, so uh, until next time, guys, I will be seeing you guys for another movie reviews that will be coming out for, like, Guardians of the Galaxy, Turtles. Um, I'm still on the fence on that one. Um, what other movies are coming out? Uh, you know what? There's so many movies. I, I, just, I just can't name them all. It's just unbelievable. But until then, I'll see you guys later. Like, uh, hit that like button, sub. We'll get more coming to you guys, more gaming stuff, and uh, talk to you guys soon. Bye. Shield to protect people. Captain. To build a better world sometimes means turning the old one down. And that makes enemies.